Have you ever said some bad things and thought, well, it really doesn't hurt anything or anybody? Well, think again. Welcome to Kids Corner. As you can hear, Liz and the gang are right in the middle of a wild game of Capture the Flag out at Grandpa Anoli's farm. And when I say wild, I mean wild. Lucille is sneaking up on Liz and Spike's flag, and things are about to take an interesting turn. Watch the flag, Spike! I'm on it! No, the other flag! I can't watch both places at once! Well, I can't watch it! Kimmy and Scooter are coming up the middle! I gotta watch them! You were the one who said we could take everyone on! We can, as long as you watch the flags! Well, Maury's coming up this side, so you watch the other flag! I can't! Neither can I! <laughs> Too bad for both of you, because I got the flag! Oh! Oh, jeez! <gasps> Liz! What? What's wrong? What you said! What? What did I say? You said, geez. Yeah, but... Come on in, everybody. Hey, what's going on? Come on, come on. Liz said a bad word. I oh. did not! I just said, geez. <gasps> Liz, what you said? What? what did he say? He said, geez. Yeah, and now you said it. Oh. I was just repeating what you said. Oh, yeah, I bad. don't understand. What's the problem? I don't get it either, Cammie. Well, the problem is, Cammy, using language like that is not allowed. Oh. Not on my farm, anyway. Grandpa. Why, Grandpa? Well, Scooter, words like geez and gosh and golly are, are shortcuts oh. for using God's and Jesus' names in vain. Come on. And while we're on the subject, uh, the expression, oh, my God, <laughs> that's even worse. Well, yeah. They all like... break the third of the Ten Commandments. Wow. Mm. I'm sorry, Grandpa, but I wasn't using Jesus' name. Or at least that's not what I meant. Besides, aren't we supposed to call on the name of the Lord in all things? No, Liz, you should know better than that. Using G's or any other of these words isn't calling on the name of the Lord. You weren't even thinking of the Lord when you said that, were you? Well, I... No, no, I wasn't. Mm-hmm. I didn't think so. So where's the harm, Grandpa? Well, yeah, I mean, they're just words, aren't they, Grandpa? Just words, eh? Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, then. For the next week, instead of using uh, gosh or golly or geez, I want you all to say something different. Well, like what, like Grandpa? What? Yeah. I want you all to say Liz. <laughs> what? Liz? Liz. You that right. sounds cool. Mm-hmm. Are you serious? Yeah, completely serious. Wow. Now, for the next seven days, everyone here use Liz in place of those <laughs> other words, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. okay. Grandpa, you, even when we pray? Cool. No, <laughs> no, not oh. in prayer. Come on. Just in everyday use when you're upset or frustrated or awestruck, oh. that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. What do you say? Especially yeah, awesome. yeah, sounds okay. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good, Grandpa. Good. Liz, what do you think? Are you kidding? Everybody all over town speaking, calling, shouting, and otherwise emoting my name? (laughs) I am so in! (laughs) It'll be great! I think so, huh? Well, we'll see. Later that evening, Grandpa visited Granny Gecko at her farm and told her all about what happened that afternoon. So, the kids are going to substitute Liz's name for all those other words, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds like a great idea, Grandpa. (laughs) But, you know, maybe we should take it a little further. Uh, What do you mean? Well, from what I've heard around town, Liz is not the only one who has a problem using God's name the wrong way. Mm. A lot of the kids, and adults too, for that matter, take the Lord's name in vain in ways they might not even realize. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, Miss Waddle over at the school's noticed it too. Oh, I'm sure she has. Told me all sorts of stories about what she hears on the playground. Well, so are you up for a little project? <laughs> I might be. <laughs> what do you have in mind? Fact-finding. Fact-finding. You, me, and Ms. Waddle. Hmm. A little info-collecting on how the kids misuse God's name. Mm, I'm in. I'll call Miss Waddle right now. Good. Then next week, when you gather the kids to find out how things went with Liz, we'll show them just what the third commandment is really all about. <laughs> Oh, 
A week later, just as all the kids, including Skink, gathered back at Grandpa's farm as planned. Everyone was there, except Liz. Uh, where is he, Lucille? I don't know, Grandpa. Liz has been acting kind of funny the past couple of days. Funny? Yeah, just strange. Hmm. Like he's in a daze mm-hmm. or something. Yeah, I saw him in town a little while ago. I yelled for him, but he ignored me. Hmm, I see. Well, I'm sure he'll show up later. I hope so. I love seeing Liz crash dive. <laughs> Compassionate as always, eh, Skink? Oh, stop acting so holier than thou, Lucille. From what I've heard, you want to see Liz get in trouble on this whole misusing God's name thing just as bad as the rest of us. Interesting thing about that. When it comes to misusing God's name, you all are guilty, like Liz. That's what? right. Mm-hmm. Come on. <laughs> what do you mean, Granny? Well, Grandpa and Miss Waddle and I have been doing a little observing this past week. What? Uh-huh. And not just Liz, but of all of you kids. Uh, okay. That's right. Every single one of you has misused God's name in some way during that time. What? Wait a minute. Oh, we yeah. kind of misused God's name like Liz did because we've all been saying Liz all week. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. That's yeah. what we've been doing. Yeah. Yeah. Liz, Liz. Well, what you said is true, Lucille. Mm-hmm. You haven't misused God's name like Liz did. Huh? But that doesn't mean you didn't misuse God's name in a lot of other ways. Other ways? Mm-hmm. Like what? Well, yeah, like what? Miss yeah. Waddle, why don't you start us out? Gladly, Granny. We'll start with an easy one. Scooter? Uh, Me? I think I'm safe in saying that everyone here knows Scooter and Skink are running for president of the student council. (laughs) Yeah, and it looks like Scooter's going to beat the pants off you, Skink. (laughs) Says you. All right, you two settle down. Go ahead, Miss Waddle. Now, I have a poster here. It shows you in what I would call an angelic pose. Scooter, you have a halo over your head, you're looking at heaven, and the caption reads, He knows who you should vote for. (laughs) Did you make this poster? Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I didn't make it personally, but I had other people make it for me. I was trying to appeal to the religious vote. I see. Don't you think implying that God wants you to be president is... Frivolous, to say the least. Try outrageous, not to mention a complete fantasy. Now hold on, Skink. We'll get to you in just a minute. What? Scooter? I don't know. I mean, I was just having a little fun. Fun? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we need to have a sense of humor, don't we? Doesn't God like fun? Of course he does. Appropriate fun. That's right. Our shirts aren't completely stuffed here. That's right. You say this was meant as innocent humor. I believe you. But don't you think it could be offensive to others for you to say that God is on your side? Yeah. And if it can be offensive to others, wouldn't that also make it offensive to God? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess it would. That's taking the Lord's name in vain. Well, I know. I sure found it offensive, Miss Waddle. <laughs> That's a laugh. You're only saying that because Scooter's ahead of you in the school polls. <laughs> Which doesn't change the fact right. that I find it offensive. Well, but I find you, you offensive. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I told you both that's enough. Yes. Now don't make me tell you again. Oh, right. yes, sir. I'm glad to know the poster offends you, Skink. Apparently, your own misuse of God's name doesn't. (laughs) My misuse? What did I do? Do you recall the speech you gave before the student body earlier in the week? Oh. And as your president, I will fight for the things that you want. Longer lunches. Shorter class periods. Reduced homework and regular morning pie fights. And unlike my opponent, I'm not just talking here. Elect me class president and I will get this stuff done. I swear it. Do you remember saying all of that, Skink? Well, of course I do. It was a great speech. One of my best. You sure promised to do a lot of things. Yeah, well, uh, it's politics. You gotta make promises to get elected. (laughs) Now, putting aside the fact that you have no authority or ability to actually make one of those issues a reality, you did a whole lot more than just make promises. 
promises. Uh, what do you mean? You said, I swear, didn't you? Well, yeah. So, uh, I swear, I promise, same thing? Oh, no, they aren't. Oh, they aren't? No, by whom were you swearing? Well, what do you mean? When you swear, you swear by someone. What? By whom were you swearing? Well, uh, I was, uh, swearing, um, uh, by myself. Yeah, that's it. No, it isn't it. Well, why not? Because when you swear, you are guaranteeing that what you say will happen. And you have to do oh. that by something that is greater than yourself. Oh. Understand? Something or someone that can guarantee that your promises will come true. Mm -hmm. oh. So whom were you swearing by? Uh, well, uh, I guess by God, okay? But it's just uh. an expression. Ha! Got burned yes, on that is. one, didn't you, Skinky? Oh, now, now, you shouldn't be so quick to judge, Spike. From what Miss Waddle tells me... You had a similar problem of your own. Uh, that's right. What? Yeah. Yeah. What you do, Remember Spike? what you did this week? What? What did you do? I, um... Come on, what did you do? No, Cheated on a test. Spike! Hey, but I didn't use the Lord's name in vain when I did it, or when you caught me, Miss Waddle. No, but do you remember when you were on the playground with Maury a little later? Yeah. I was there, too. Uh-huh. So what's the deal, Maury? You and Liz and Lucille keep telling me God wants good things for me, right? Right. Passing that test would have been a good thing, right? R right, but... So God wanted me to pass the test, right? Uh, right, but Spike... It... So if I was just trying to do what God wanted me to do, then why is he punishing me now, huh? Did you really say that, Spike? Well, yeah, I was mad, but I did not misuse God's name. Oh, really? I would not be too sure of that, Spike. Why? Mm -hmm. well, you said God punished you for doing something he wanted you to do, right? Yeah. And what do you think he wanted you to do? Pass the test. And how did you try to pass the test? By, uh, cheating. Aww. So what you're saying, Spike, is that God made you cheat, right? Mm. Well, uh, you know, um... I, uh... uh... Now, Spike, do you really think that it was God who made you cheat? No. And yet you're blaming him for something you did. I that is so. also taking the Lord's name in vain. Uh, no. <laughs> That's what I was going to try to tell you, but you wouldn't let me, Spike. Uh, probably you slipped your mind because you were too busy dealing with your own misuse of God's name. Yeah, I was... I did? Mm. When did I do that? Uh, Miss Waddle? Think back before the test, Maury. Okay. Remember what you said... Oh. All notebooks and notes should be off your desks. The only thing you'll need is a good, sharpened pencil. So, uh, Maury, you ready for this? Uh, yeah, I think so. Lord, help me pass this test. If you'll give me a good grade, I'll, I'll pray every night and I'll go to church every time the doors are open. Please! Do you remember saying that, Maury? <laughs> um... Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, what uh, what grade did you get on your test? I I got an A minus. A minus. Mm, that sounds like a good grade to me. You know, the doors of the church were open on Wednesday night, but uh, I I didn't see you there, did I? No. Mm. <laughs> and uh, have you actually prayed every night since you got your good grade? I doubt. It. Well, I. Mm -hmm. Did you no. even pray the very night you got your good grade? I have to admit that. Uh, I did not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, when we make a vow to God and then don't do it, we show that we don't take God seriously. And that's taking the Lord's name in vain. Wait a so minute, big. Grandpa. I'm no confused. Shame. By what, Cammie? By something Granny told Spike mm. about not blaming God for our problems. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Cammie. Well, Christians claim that God made everything, correct? Yes, yeah. we do. Right. That would include each one of us, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, since God made each one of us, and we each have problems, would that not also mean that God made those problems as well? And as such, should he not accept the blame for the problems he has made? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, you've brought up some very good points, Cammie. Yes, and, and some very difficult ones, too. Those are big questions that affect yeah. lots of things. But l let me just say that as far as God's name is concerned, you might be right, except 
for one thing. And that is? Well, God gave us the freedom to choose. In Spike's case, he chose to do what was wrong and then blamed God when bad things happened because of his choice. <laughs> Boy, you guys have really messed up this week. Oh, no, not just them, Lacey. Not me. Look, I don't know how I feel about this religion thing, but one thing I do know is that I haven't used God's name in vain. Uh... Have I? Well, I uh, I went to your soccer game this week to watch you oh, and you Lucille can't... play. Hey, oh. I'm really careful about what I say out there. Mm -hmm. If we use bad language, the refs can give us a penalty. Right. True, that's true. That's true. Uh, but before the game, you all huddled together, didn't mm -hmm. you? Yeah, mm -hmm. just like we do before every game. Lucille prays for us. And Lord, please help us to play to the best of our abilities and to be good sports. And this is a very important game, Lord, so please help us to win it. Amen. 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 Great. How'd you know that, Grandpa? <laughs> uh, the ref heard you and uh, told me that's what you said. Oh. Okay, so what's wrong with that? I mean, I'm supposed to pray, aren't I? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But by asking God to help you win, you were trying to make God into your own personal magician who yeah. give you superpowers or a great ability when you want. You're only praying to God when you need or want something from him, not because he's the God of the universe who deserves your worship and prayers. You know, calling on God that way is also taking the Lord's name in vain. Aren't you going to say anything, Lucille? Um, well, um... You have been awfully quiet, Lucille. That's because I already know how I misused God's name this week. You do? Oh, yeah. And mine may have been the worst of all. Grandpa, Granny, and the kids were stunned by Lucille's confession. <laughs> I can't believe that yours was the worst of all, Lucille. Yeah. I can't believe that you misused the name of the Lord. Uh, well, what too. happened, Lucille? Tell us about it. <clears throat> well, it just hasn't been a very good week for me. Mm. First, there was work on my column at the newspaper. Lucille, I have a few changes in your article. Changes? Not, nothing major. Here. If you're going to change everything, then why did you want me to write it in the first place? That uh, sounds bad, all right. Even for me. That was nothing compared to what I said to my sister. Lucille, can I wear your gray sweater? No, Laura, you can't. Don't you have any clothes of your own? Stay out of my closet. Pretty harsh, Lucille. Yeah. Well, yeah, but the topper was what happened with my mother two days ago. She told me... Lucille, I don't want you going over to Lacey's house until your homework is finished. Are you listening? Yes, Mother, I'm listening. Then do you understand what I said? Yes, I understand. That doesn't sound so bad. No. Uh, let me guess, you uh, didn't finish your homework before you left, did you? Bingo. <gasps> you disobeyed? I disobeyed. Granted, Whoa. all of that is bad, but I don't see how it misuses God's name. Yeah, I don't either. Lucia, why don't you answer that one? I'm a Christian, Cammy. As a Christian, I wear the name of Christ. I'm his representative. Yeah? I knew that. And my actions made him look bad. Making God look bad is taking his name in vain. Oh, I see. That's right, Lucia. Right. Yeah. Everyone was very quiet for a few moments, thinking about what they had learned that afternoon. Suddenly, Spike said, Hey, it's Liz! Hey. hey! Everyone looked up and saw Liz wandering toward them. He seemed very dazed and confused and kept mumbling to himself. Liz? Oh, Liz! Hey, Liz! Liz! He's been like that for the past couple of days, Grandpa. Oh, boy. Grandpa grabbed Liz by the shoulders and gave him a little shake. Liz! Liz! You okay? Come on, snap out of it! Yeah. Oh, what? What? Wait, Grandpa, are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm talking to you. <laughs> me? Grandpa? You're, you're really talking to me? I'm really talking to you, Liz. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Grandpa! At last, 
someone who's speaking to me as though I'm actually here again. (laughs) Well, it seems our little experiment has yielded a very interesting outcome. Interesting (laughs) is an understatement. Uh, So, Liz, I guess everyone using your name instead of Gosh or G wasn't as great as you thought it would be, huh? Well, it started off okay. Yeah, I kind of liked hearing my name you so much, you know? Oh, well, so what changed things? Uh, before long, people started using my name so much I never knew when or if they were actually talking to me. Oh. It's like my name lost all meaning. Like, like I lost all meaning. Oh. It was, it was kind of like... I stopped being real. It was horrible, horrible. It's, it's, it's all right, Liz. It's all right. Calm down. Just please tell me it's over, please. <laughs> it's oh. over. Oh, yeah. All right, hear that, everyone? No oh, more I using so. Liz's name in place of those other words. Oh, oh, come on, on Grandpa. It was just starting to be no, fun. No, 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 skink. I mean it. Now knock it off. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, do you... Do you think this this is how God feels when we misuse his name? Well, I can't say how God feels, Liz. But I do know that he doesn't want us to lose the meaning of his name by misusing it in any way. We know that. Kids, can you all see that now? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Uh, that still sounds pretty weak to me. I'm not sure you all really understand just why this is a big deal. I mean, it's uh, just a name, right? Yeah. Why all the fuss, right? Yeah. Skate? Well, right. Oh, come on. You all were thinking it. It's all right. Now, now I know this is kind of tough to understand. Yeah. You see, everyone, this whole thing about God's name is a big deal, not because Granny or Miss Waddle or I think it is. What? It's a big deal because God thinks it's a big deal. Yeah. It's an issue of respect, respect for the creator of us all and of the universe, respect for his holiness, the sacredness of our relationship with him. Yeah. And how we treat each other in his name. Oh, yeah, that's, right. that's a big deal. Yeah, it is. And that's why we should honor the third commandment. Never take the, the name, name of the Lord, Lord in vain. vain. That's yeah. right. I think Liz and the gang have finally got it. And I think that they'll be very careful from now on about how they use the name of the Lord. How about you? Did you recognize yourself in any of the examples we heard today? If you did, it's important to remember what Grandpa said. It's a big deal to God. So big, in fact, that he made not misusing his name one of the Ten Commandments. So let's make sure we obey, okay? Okay.